Hello there, I'm AJ Booker. I'm here to show you today these wobblers. It's a simple little project for Key Stage 1 and 2 that's been developed by the Nottingham e Learning Centre and you can get information on this from their website. Wobblers are very simple little devices. By using counterweights, you have two wheels that appear to balance by themselves and move. You'll find on the NELC website a link to where you can download this free design sheet. You put your design on it, slip it into a laminating pouch and then put that through your laminator. So we've finished laminating our design and this makes it a lot stiffer so it will hold up in the air, stand up by itself. The next stage is to cut out your wobbler and here you want to take away as much material as possible because anything you leave will be extra weight. Once it's cut out, it should stand up quite easily when you hold the base. And then you want to cut out these holes at the bottom using a hole punch. It's a bit more difficult to cut them out using a hole punch when it's been laminated. You may have to press and turn a few times, but you should be able to produce the holes. The main part of your wobbler is the base, made of two wheels and a bolt, also you called a machine screw, which joins the two together. Your machine screw needs to be long enough that will go through the first wheel and into the second and leave enough space for the wobbler to hang with the weights underneath. To put the machine screw into the wheel, if it doesn't fit in straight away, you might want to widen it with a drill or with a screwdriver and then screw it into position. When it's screwed all the way in, and it's a good idea to use a bit of plasticine with students so they can push down onto that without hurting themselves with the screwdriver. When it's screwed all the way in, you should get that. And if you want to, you can add a nut to the end to lock it into position. The important thing now is to weight it so it doesn't do that. We need to add weights here below the axle to counterbalance the top part. To do that, I'm using these large nuts and bolts. What you may have to do to get these to fit, as most hole punches are fairly small, is use a pencil to open this up, push those through and then do up the nuts and bolts. The exact size doesn't matter as long as they're quite chunky, quite heavy. It's the weight you're after. You won't really see them as they will be between the wheels when it's constructed. So having put all your nuts and bolts on, just test that when you put it on the axle, it does hang vertically. You might be surprised by the amount of nuts and bolts I've got here, but you really do need quite a bit of weight. And then to finish off, just join your two wheels together. So here's our finished wobbler. As you can see, it rolls along quite nicely. Do watch out though, that none of the weights stick out further than the base, because if they do, it may slow it down. Here's a different variation made using them. These are just normal drinking straws, bent, cut and put together. The only difference here is I've used CDs and these special CD holders to create the wheels. Now this has two advantages. One, it gives you these lovely shiny wheels, and these little holders just snap into the bases here and then can be used with the bolts as normal. The other advantage is the distance from the centre to the outside is greater so when your weights hang down they'll have more effect and therefore you can do larger versions.